we know we know that the CRP reaches in many cases reaches his normal level after one year, up to one year. So don't rely only on the CRP. It's a, always a combination of the laboratory parameters and the clinical decision. If the clinic looks good, the patient is pain free, there's no redness, no swelling, nothing, then you can wait and observe the CRP, in my opinion. So if any, every, any other things are okay, see and wait. So we so, wait for another for how much time? So maybe three months with the spacer inside? With the spacer inside, I, uh, if the CRP is not going down, uh, I would wait a little bit longer. But on a certain point, you have to, to exchange it. And then you have to decide it during the surgery if you do the reimplantation or put in another spacer.